Hi and welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to modify a part for the Freightliner Cascadia. And I'm um, going to change a painted part to chrome and create a, a new bumper and do a little bit of work with the uh, grill. So the first thing we got to do is import the truck into Blender. And I have a video out there on importing a truck without any errors. So uh, first thing we need to do is make sure that our Blender is pointed to the right folder where our mod is going to be. So we click on the wrench and the screwdriver. Click on the folder and desktop and there's Freightliner Cascadia. And make sure we have the base selected. All right, now we check to make sure that our hookup library and our material database file are all in black. And so we should be ready to import the Freightliner Cascadia in the blender. All right, so we hit import, SCS game object. And go back to the base, vehicle, truck, Cascadia 2018, and the Cascadia PIM, and import. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done a video. I uh, had a reorganization at work and it has taken a lot of my time. Uh, that's, that was completed. And so I may have a little bit of time left, but I was also given more responsibilities at work. Uh, that's going to take a lot of my time too. So I'm still going to try to put out these videos as, as much as I can. Because I want everybody to be able to modify their trucks and I have to rely on somebody else to modify them for them. Okay, so here's our Cascadia. It's in Blender and we have no errors. So to see the whole truck without the collision blocks and the shadows, we can go to SCS tools, our visibility tools, and we just want to click on to view model objects, which is the solid white box. And here's our Freightliner Cascadia. Now to see your materials, hit Z as in zebra, and then go to material preview. And we should see all the materials for our truck. It's actually a very detailed truck. I like it. Some of the uh, body panels are a little bit wavy. It has some bad body work to it, but I think overall this is a, a really nice looking truck. Uh, some of the things that I was unhappy about was uh, the front bumper on it. it uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a guy that likes chrome, so I wanted to add a little bit of chrome to the front bumper so that's what I'm going to do in this video here. Now let's get to the uh, we got to get to the right cab. Some of these parts that you see are going to a different cab. So this is your your B cab parts. I want to delete those so it look a little bit better. And what I did I clicked on it so it highlights it in yellow then I can just go in here and look for the right piece and there it is that's piece 49 and I can hide it so any other piece like here's the roof of the, the B truck you can see it I want to hide that and that's piece 36 and we'll hide that everything else looks good Alright, so let's bring in our bumper. 
if we uh, if we go back and we import the bumper we just go back to import SCS game object and we go to upgrade and we go to bumper and we want to import uh, let's see I think it might maybe bumper 2 we'll see and we hit import All right, so here's our bumper. It's not in the right place. It shows up underneath the truck. And the, the reason why it shows up underneath the truck is because that's where our cursor is. And if you can look right here, our cursor is, is on the truck and not the bumper. So what we need to do, we need to find the model locator for the bumper for our truck. So we go up and we look for bumper. And these are all your model locators. And let's see. And here it is. This is bumper. We highlight that. Okay, and now there's our locator is on bumper. So let's uh, remove. Let's go ahead and remove the bumper we just imported. Okay, so the bumper's gone. All right, and we'll select bumper. And now we have to move our cursor to our bumper locator. So make sure we highlight it. And you hit Shift S. And it brings up a selection pie chart. And down at the bottom, it's got, it says cursor to selected. You want to Click on that. All right, the cursor didn't move, so it must not have the uh, the bumper locator selected. So now the little yellow dot shows up. So now I have it selected. So I go to Shift S and cursor through selected. Now you can see the cursor has moved around that yellow dot. And now when we import our bumper, it should come into the correct location on the truck. So we we'll go File, Import, SES Game Object, and we import Bumper 2. Alright, now Bumper's in the correct location. Alright, so like I said, uh, I wanted to put a little bit more chrome on the front bumper, and uh, nothing came with this truck that had chrome on it. You select solid black or a solid painted, but nothing with chrome. All right, so we're going to uh, make this center section chrome to match the chrome grill. And the way we're going to do that is we have to uh, copy this part here and make it chrome. And basically, we're going to make a, a whole new bumper for the front of this truck. Alright, it's not it's not hard to do. We just gotta go to the bumper object. And we gotta find it here. So we scroll through all the parts. Alright, and then right up here at the top you will see it says bumper two. And we expand it and we see all the parts that make up that, that front bumper. And let's see, I want to hide the shadow. And make sure we get on the right piece. Okay, so piece 3001, this is our bumper. Like I said, we, we got to make a copy of that center section on the bumper and, and make it chrome. So if you look up here at the top, when it's highlighted in yellow like this, it, we're in object mode. So in order to copy the parts of the bumper that we want, we have to be in edit mode. So hit tab, and that puts it in edit mode. And we have, we, I can see the I guess these are vertices, the dots, uh, 
don't want that. I want the faces. So I come up here and you got vertices, edges, and faces. And I'm going to select faces. Alright, so we're going to select uh, the center part of the bumper to make it chrome. So what you want to do, you want to select only the faces and to keep selecting the faces hit shift every time every time you you drag it across a new piece you got have to select shift otherwise um, if you don't if you select a different part of the bumper it only selects that part and the rest of it goes away so always select shift And we're going to just and remember if you if you mess up and get a face that you don't want just uh, hit undo and it happens quite a bit but rotate the truck around until you only get the faces that you want to duplicate And make sure you get all of them, all your faces. And rotate your truck around. So you can get to everything. Alright, we're almost, we are almost done. Alright, once you think you've got everything selected, scroll out and look at everything real close. Make sure that you, you got everything that you want to select. Okay, once you're happy, and I, I can't see any red, it looks like I've selected everything. So, in order to copy the part, you hit shift D and then don't move anything if you move it you'll move it out of position so right now the part is copied and I can I can move it around all right but I don't I don't want to do this I want to keep it in the, in the right position so if you do happen to move it just uh, hit your right mouse button and it'll put it back where it was all right so I made a copy of the part now I want to put it, I, I want to duplicate it and put it in with, with my, uh, with my other bumper. So hit enter and then P as in Papa, hit P. All right. And then you're going to separate that by selection because we have all these selected. We're going to separate by selection. And now we have that piece is located in our bumper but since we want to make a whole new bumper with just this piece here we need to create a new uh, object so with this piece selected our, our piece that we copied with it selected go to SCS tools you want to add a root object. SCS tools add a root object. All right, so now we we took that piece we copied and now we added it to a, a game object and we'll rename this. Uh, let's name it bumper. Since we've got three bumpers, we'll name it bumper four. So now we've we've created a a new piece, and see if we hide it, it goes away. All right, if 
but the piece is still painted and we want to make this chrome so this is where our shaders come in and we need to select a chrome shader so we highlight it go to edit mode by hitting tab and once you're in edit mode you'll see all your, your uh, faces in the piece then go to your materials icon it looks like uh, I don't really know what it looks like but this at the very bottom of your menu and it's it's round but if you just hover your mouse over it'll tell you material properties and that's what you want and then up here is your shaders and you want a chrome shader so if you click this down button here these are all the shaders that are used for that truck and it's to me it's always easier to just select a shader that that was already used instead of trying to create your own shader i've tried to create them and they're very hard to create and get them to do right uh you can create your own shader but i just find that it's always easier to use one that's already created for you all right, so we have two chrome shaders. Uh, one looks a little more shinier than the other. So I'm going to select this matte 0022 chrome shader. And as you can see, our, our piece is now chrome. That looks, that looks good. Now, when you change to a different shader, sometimes you got to be careful because uh, there's a texture that's associated with this shader, and, and you can scroll down uh, to your material textures and just hold your mouse over it, and it'll, it'll tell you which texture is associated with that material. In this case, it's, uh, it's called Chrome. C-H-R-O-M. On this particular one, there's there's not uh, anything on the texture that, that this piece is covering, so it, it, it looks good. I don't have to change it, but on but on some some parts, uh, you may see like diamond plate or something like that, and then you're going to have to rearrange uh, your part so that it it, that doesn't happen and I'll, I'll show you a quick way of doing that so if you go to UV editing all right it now has a split screen you've got the truck and then you have your UV editor panel all right we still have that front bumper piece is, is still in edit mode so you hit a for all and now we have uh, this is this is how our texture is mapped onto this uh, chrome that our our faces are mapped to this chrome texture and you can see that this is the right texture because C H R O M. Uh, but there's there's a bunch of different textures, and this is all the textures that are located for that Freightliner Cascadia. But we we do have the right texture. It's Chrome, C H R O M. And you can look and see there's nothing on this texture that would mess with the Chrome. So we're just going to leave it just like it is. We're not going to change a thing. So we go back to modeling. And you can see the, the chrome looks pretty good. And it's shiny the way I like it. All right. So. Now I still have to build the bumper, so I, I need other parts to finish my bumper. So 
So we have bumper two, we got bumper four. And we'll go ahead and hide that piece. Go up to bumper two. And we're just going to copy everything into from bumper two into bumper four. So just copy. And then you can select right beside bumper four and hit paste. And you'll notice that the piece automatically goes as a separate piece. And you're going to have to place it into your bumper. And it's, it's pretty easy to do. It, it takes some time to get, to get used to it. But you click on the piece. And you drag it over your bumper. And, and you hit shift. And now that piece is part of bumper four. <clears throat> and then. You'll notice that it's out of position. So we're going to have to move that piece back into position. It's going to be the same way with all these pieces. So we'll just get them copied first. And another thing you can do, if you want to copy more than just one piece, you can hit your shift and select them all at one time. And then hit copy. And then paste. Now all of your pieces uh, we can just drag them all into bumper four. So that's what I'll do. Alright so now all our bumper pieces are in uh, in our new bumper, bumper four. Now we've just got to get them in the, in the right position. Okay. So the easiest way I know to do that is to use the old part and line it up with the new part. So we'll hide everything except For the part that we're moving. Now right, you can see the parts here, and then you have the part there, and all we gotta do is just move that to where it's in line with the old part. In order to move it, select it. And to move you gotta grab it. So hit G and then you want to move it along the axis. You, you don't want to uh, just move it randomly. So in this case, we're going to move it along the Y axis, which is your green line. So we hit Y, and that highlights, and then we're just going to drag it to where it's, it's close to the part. And now, like I say, you want to keep moving it along your axis so you hit G again and this time we're going to move it along the Z axis which is the blue line All right, and then we're just going to drag it up alright and you can see that it's a little bit off so we'll G we'll grab on the Z axis, and we will move it up just to here. And now it's in the right position. Alright, so that's done. So we'll move on to the next piece. It's like this bottom part, like, like a bottom spoiler. Right. 
So you hit the X because you want to. Uh, let's make sure that we got the right piece. Okay, so that was the wrong piece. So here's the piece we need. You can see they match. So we'll highlight it. And you want to select G. And we're going to move it on the Y axis again. So we hit Y. And then we'll get it close. And we're going to hit G. And move it along the Z axis. And we are close. And we zoom in. We're going to move it in the Z axis a little bit more. And we're a little bit off on the Y axis. So we and move it in the Y axis just up here. Now if you want real fine movements, you can hit shift and then it will move a lot slower so you can you can fine tune it. Alright, so now we have that in the correct position. And here's our shadow. Let's get the, uh, let's put the shadow. All right. So we hit our X to make sure that everything stays in line. And then we find our shadow. And here's our shadow. Alright, G for grab, move along the Y axis, so it's close, and then G, and move along the Z axis, and we zoom in, So you can tell that we're still a little bit off, so we need to move it along the Y axis here. And we're still a little bit off on the Z axis, but this is smoother. Right. And looks like we got our shadow in the correct spot. Alright, so now we want to move our bumper. Now, there may be an easier way of doing this. I haven't found that yet. So if anybody knows of a way to, to do this a lot easier, please let me know. I sure would appreciate it. Just leave a comment. Alright, okay, so G. We'll move this in the Y direction. It doesn't take long uh, once you get used to it. It's a little fiddly, but not too awfully bad. All right, so we have created a new bumper. So let's make sure we don't have nothing straggling. And it looks like we do. I'm not sure. I think we've got an extra piece. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, it looks like we have an extra piece so we can delete this. Alright, so. Now we have the bumper. 
and if you'll notice let's find our chrome I have lost my chrome piece. Alright, so I'm going to have to, re I must have accidentally deleted it. And, um, it's probably too far back for me to undo it. So I'm just going to make a, another piece real quick. So uh, give me a second and I'll be back. Okay, so I recreated. Let me minimize this real quick. I have recreated the centerpiece. As you can see, there we go. I accidentally deleted the piece again. Okay, so here's our center. I'm going to select it. And then we're going to change that to our chrome and this matte 22 chrome is the one we're going to select okay now that was that looks good now if you'll notice we uh, if we put the bumper back in the chrome disappears and that that's because we made it the piece from a copy of this bumper so that bumper will cover the chrome so what we need to do, we need to delete. Uh, we need to delete this part in our bumper so that the, the chrome will show through. So we delete the same way that we copied it. We highlight and then hit X. And then you want to delete the vertices. Because if, if you don't select this, it leaves remnants behind. So I always select vertices. Okay. And we deleted a little bit too much. As you can see, it's missing the piece here and here. So let's undo that. Okay. I'll just be a little bit more careful. And you just want to make sure you only delete what you chromed. All right. So far, so good. Alright, let's say we went too far that time too, so gotta be careful. Be afraid to undo all right now I don't, don't know if you can see this there's a there's a black line here uh, that we need to get rid of and if you go up here take it from faces to edges we can highlight it as an edge and see it turned yellow so now we can delete that edge and this is uh, the only time that you'll select edges, okay, and we'll delete that. All right, but I can also see a little bit of red in here we need to delete. All right, All right go back. 
back the faces. That's why we couldn't select it. There we go, and I think we got all that deleted. There. And now we have created a new bumper with a chrome centerpiece in. So now I want to see how that looks with the grill. So uh, I'll import the grill uh, and check to make sure that it looks okay before I continue on. So we need to go back to our truck. This is our Cascadia. And here's one that says bottom grill. We just want one that says grill. And here's one that says front grill. I'm not sure what front grill is. But here's one that just says grill. So we, uh, Here's our model locator. And we want to make sure that it's highlighted. And now it is, it turned yellow. And we want to move the cursor to, uh, to the model locator so that our grill will import right. So we hit Shift S, cursor to selected. All right, and now it's, you can see that it's on the model locator. And then we just want to go back and import The grill. So we'll go to upgrade. And here's our grill. And let's go with grill two. Alright, so there's grill two. And that, I think that looks good. And the chrome match is good. I don't know what, it has some uh, honeycomb. Down at the bottom, I'm not real fond of. I may get rid of that. But anyway, so uh, that's that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to uh, export everything that we've done and, and put it in the game. So that video will be coming out shortly. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave me a comment or go to my Facebook page ATS skins and mods and uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe catch all my videos thank you I'll see you next time